How to build a plan to lower blood pressure naturally. Here is a three-step plan which helped me and hundreds of other people to get rid of hypertension or high blood pressure. We'll show three elements of this plan in this video. It's typically proven and they are supported by leading biomed scientists and doctors. And perhaps one of the most important is actually stress. Um, you know, being in a constant state of on, just being in a sympathetic tone, the fight or flight response that's, you know, never being turned off uh, has obviously profound consequences on blood pressure. The first step of the plan is to get an immediate effect in uh, lowering blood pressure with either slow breathing, meditation, or stretch. And we'll start from a one minute breathing exercise done in beautiful nature environment. Measure your blood pressure before this exercise and after. If you measure your blood pressure before this exercise and after the exercise, you will see that most likely your blood pressure will come down. The only thing is that this simple exercise produces usually short-term effect, which lasts anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours. And exercising, especially cardio, is going to do amazing things on their blood pressure. For the long-term effect, you have to use two other steps of the plan which we show in this video. They take more effort, however, they produce longer-term results. The second part of the program to lower blood pressure brings long-term results. And uh, this involves moderate aerobic exercise or zone 2 exercise. American Heart Association recommends to perform at least 150 minutes of this exercise per week which is approximately uh, 30 minutes at the time if you do it five times. And it's better to do it at least for uh, 30 minutes at a time to achieve some positive effects. Moderate aerobic exercise includes uh, things like uh, brisk walking, cycling, or swimming. So how do you know that you perform at a necessary heart rate? The best way to do it is uh, to use a smartwatch, but Otherwise, uh, you can use a rule of uh, thumb, which is when you, when you move, when you, for example, do brisk walking in zone two, you could uh, speak, but you cannot uh, sing. But that, of course, depends on your level of fitness. And for people who are uh, less fit, that uh, brisk walking is uh, sufficient enough. But uh, for those people uh, who have uh, some prior experience uh, then they uh, need to move a bit uh, faster and to illustrate the point uh, i will uh, show you my uh, watch and basically what it shows not in an exercise zone at all and which means i move too slowly so i need to accelerate to get into the zone two exercise and i need to run and uh, while i'm running i can see that my heart rate starts to increase slowly and gradually let's see now it shows that I'm in the warm-up zone still not good enough and it says easy it says easy now which means that i reached uh, the level at which i should uh, perform going forward 
and uh, the question the next question is how do you enhance this moderate aerobic exercise and do a slow breathing exercise while you work and uh, we have a number of these exercises in our app breath now which will guide you to uh, do a walking and uh, slow breathing which is great because um, your uh, uh, this exercise works not only your blood vessels and uh, makes them more flexible so they can adjust to drops and uh, increases in blood pressure but they also train your mind to stay uh, fully focused on uh, your work and uh, forget about worries and concerns and that drives the anxiety down the third part of our program of managing blood pressure long term is uh, so-called the VO2 max training or basically bringing your heart rate to 85 uh, percent of your maximum heart rate below normal VO2 max and you go just to normal you're getting about a 2.1 increase in life expectancy if you go below below normal to high normal which is about where half the population lies then you're getting a almost three year increase in life expectancy and then if you go to like more of an elite level, so you're getting into like above the upper limit, that's a five year increase in life expectancy compared to where you were when you were below normal. Now, I have to say that uh, you really need uh, to get permission from your doctor before you start uh, doing this type of exercises. The VO2 max training improves uh, not only uh, cardiovascular fitness, but they reduce uh, the risk of all cause uh, mortality. And uh, the way to do it is to get your heart rate to 85% of your maximum heart rate, which you can uh, calculate using all sort of online calculators. I'm not going to demonstrate how to do it now in this video because uh, I will uh, run uh, quite uh, quickly, but uh, I, will share, I will share the, uh, the graph from my smartwatch, which shows uh, what happens uh, during uh, this type of uh, exercise and uh, the most uh, famous uh, protocol which has proven to improve your to max or cardio fitness is to uh, it's called four by four that's where you run uh, at, at, at as hard as you can for uh, four minutes and then you take a three minute break and then uh, you do another interval of four minutes run three minutes break and you repeat it four times all together however if you start uh, you can uh, uh, do just uh, uh, one minute of running, one minute of rest. That will also uh, work in, uh, in, in your favor and uh, you take it from there. And our app Breath Now provides instructional videos how to start gradually uh, and uh, start growing your VO2 max. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Uh, try our free blood pressure app Breath Now and uh, stay healthy and uh, have a great day.